Okay, what do you think we head up to Escadilla Butte? I think it's a good idea. Get us some soda. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Well, hello there. Let's saddle up. Should be a beautiful hike this morning up to Escadilla Butte. We're on the um, east side of Escadilla and we'll have some great views of this side of it because it didn't burn on this side and it's very, very pretty. So let's get cracking. here. I'll find an old Forest Service road down here. But uh, we'll angle up the uh, side of this mountain over toward the east side. Uh, a little bit better approach. This is a very pretty hike. Um, climbing mountain a little bit more difficult. Now, this is my kind of bushwhacking. Just walking out on the forest floor. Oh, so pretty. A whole bunch of little saplings here. Make sure I leave those guys alone. A little wet area in here. Look at the saplings over there. Ah, it's going to really extend the forest down a little bit. Really nice. Going like crazy. Old Forest Service road I was telling me about. We'll walk just a little ways up and then we'll angle off. Start getting some elevation. It's about a 700 foot climb here. So, we'll break off here and start angling up. I'd say the only challenge on this guy is you got to climb 700 feet in less than a half mile. So at altitude, and we'll be getting up to about 9,400. It'll uh, it'll work your pistons down there. You may want to be, be wondering what the lines on these pine trees mean all this orange paint so it's not reflectors so you don't hit it with your vehicle looks like they're planning on thinning the florist a little bit and the reason what they're why they do that right now is not so much for logging operations but for health forest health 
what they'll do is they'll mark the ones that have the best chance of survival. We are in a bit of a drought. And what they don't want is trees that are in each other's drip line. So they'll take the best ones and then remove the others to give them the best chance of survival and health. A healthy tree has not only a much better chance of general survival, but if they're attacked by bark beetle, some other infestation, a healthy tree can fight that off. So, anyway, there you go. Looks like a bunch they're gonna keep right here, but they're gonna pull that little fella down in between those two, take him down. So the other two next to him have a better chance. There's a fantastic book. Um, I believe it's a, a German author. I think it's called The uh, Hidden Life of Trees or Secret Life of Trees. If you want to learn more about forest, how they communicate with each other, how they help each other, how they adapt. Uh, read that book, it's, it's absolutely amazing. So, you may not think they're alive because they don't move except to the wind, but they do move. And I'll let the author explain that. Anyway, let's get back to work. There's a nice, uh, picture the east side of Escadilla. Actually that's not the not Mazan, it's actually to the right. It's all part of it. But uh, we'll get a nice view of it here in a bit. I'm in the zone. Just crossing the mountain. At the summit here, at the high point, looking down uh, into northern Arizona and New Mexico. Um, basically, high desert, big flat tops over there, places surrounded by volcanoes. So, anyway, we're gonna see if we can get you some better views here. But, uh, Soda Zen, Climb Mountain, Work Radio. I love it. This side up. It's made for dummies like me. Kind of like when I was in the army. Goof around with Claymore Mines. They said, this side toward enemy. Kind of the same idea. Made for idiots. Gotta love it. Thank you, Linox. You guys rock. Brought to you by Linox. The lightest, greatest seating apparatus for guys on the run.
right, I got you. This is my view. Well, I sit here and um, have breakfast. Not bad. Bare naked. Hmm. All right. I'm in. Peanut butter, chocolate. No. Chocolate chip, banana. Who wouldn't like that? That's a wrap. So appreciate it, chasers. I'm going to head down the slope here. Hopefully, uh, Ohana, no gear left behind. Another radio back there. So. Anyway. Good activation. I'm gonna head over to Springerville. There's a, there's a couple over there. I may hit one of them. I am gonna hit one of them for sure. The other one I'm gonna save for an early morning because it gets kind of hot. And I'm gonna try a different approach on that one too. Down we go. Okay, here's the backside of Vescadilla, or what I call the backside. It's the east facing side. Coming around here. So, yeah, on the other side of that is a lookout tower, etc., where I went. So, um, it's Gucci. I'm coming through those uh, little saplings, little grove of them. Those little guys have grown, shoot, at least six inches since last year. They're really doing well. So, yeah, pretty, pretty view. When it's green in here, it's very, very enjoyable. It's before the monsoon, though. And there's another view of Escadilla Mountain to our right. So we're about a uh, tenth of a mile from the vehicle off the mountain going through the little valley and uh, we'll load and go. Escadilla Butte, check. Let's uh, see what else we can rustle up here. So 73 guys from Ascadia Butte. N1 DLC. A little bit different country. Hard pan, rock strewn, high desert. <sighs> and the wind's blowing pretty good out here. This is Coyote Hills. Alpha Pop 037. To one of my favorite hikes uh, just because the beauty and the, and the hiking part to uh, one of my most dreaded up here in the high desert um, and it's blowing today about between 20 gusting to 40 so it should be fun getting the antenna up and I probably won't record the uh, QSOs just because it is so windy and I don't feel like hanging out here in the sun because obviously there's no, there's no shade unless I can hunker down in the bush here. Um, probably not the best one to do at noontime, but whatever. Um, 
Beautiful day. Let me give you a 360 here. It's off to the west. Just moving from north to west now. There's Mount Baldy with the uh, snow on it back there. Not sure if you can see that. Becker Lake in front of you. Town of Springerville and Eager. A little dome shaped thing is a stadium. They built back in the uh, late 80s, I believe. Yeah, it was. Mid to late 80s. There's Escadilla Mountain. The, the mountain that I have an emotional attachment to. And uh, actually, I was looking this way coming off, uh, looking off that peak. We did get some great views, but uh, yeah. There's mountain there. It's nice and green on the north side. Then swinging around the south, so kind of the southerly, coming around to east now into New Mexico. We're just a few miles from the New Mexico border. I mean, to be able to see the white line from here. But uh, anyway, yeah. And uh, we'll finish off at the lovely Springerville coal generating plant there for power. Provides a few jobs to the uh, local economy here. So that's nice. There's another one uh, up in St. John's, about uh, 20, 30 miles from here. So let's set up. Let me crank off some QSOs. We can call it done. Okay, just finished the activation. 25 contacts in 30 minutes. It was an unruly pile up. It is blowing about 60 miles an hour up here. So it's time to head back to the SOC. GoPro, stop recording.